Aloha and welcome. My name is Taylor Norris and I'm a certified galactic astrology soul reader and Reiki master teacher. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you about an upcoming class I am teaching on July 27th. It's called Astrology Basics with Reiki. Befriend the planets. Thank you so much for being here, for tuning in, watching this video. Hopefully you're curious about astrology. That's why you're here. You're curious about Reiki. Maybe you're curious about learning astrology with Reiki, the support of Reiki, the healing of Reiki, the deepening that comes with Reiki, the intuitive expansion that comes with Reiki, and of course, also comes with astrology. So this class on July 27th, you can learn more details about it on my website. I'm going to show you the page on my website with more information about it. All right, this is taylornorrisreiki.com. You can find this page by clicking the events tab or also below this video in the description. And so astrology basics with Reiki. Here's some fun artwork I made. And the class is 8 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Hawaii time on July 27th. It will be recorded, so totally fine if you can't attend live. There will be recordings of everything. They're labeled clearly, and you're able to download the recordings and repeat the recordings as many times as you like. And also download the slideshow. In my classes, I always create a slideshow, very in-depth, with lots of information. And you will be able to download the slides as well to supplement any notes you may wish to take. There's also a time zone converter, so you can figure out what time the class is just some more information about who it's for. Then talking about what is going on in the class, more information about the format, and some testimonials as well from the class I taught last month, Astrology Basics with Reiki, Explore the Zodiac Signs. So you are welcome to take a look at that And I am going to stop the share and just talk to you now that really this class is for anybody who's interested in astrology. It's very beginner friendly. So this is designed for beginners. It's also designed for a student of astrology at any level who wants to review the basics of the planets. And The planets we will be exploring include sun and moon, which are actually luminaries. They are lights, not planets. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, which Pluto is actually a dwarf planet, a very powerful and significant dwarf planet. We will be looking at the planetary cycles of each of these and the orbital periods. We will be looking at the glyphs and the symbolism and what the symbolism means. We will be looking at the planets from a medical astrology perspective too. What parts of the body are ruled by each of the planets so we can learn more about what the planets mean in our bodies and really embody the planets and understand that we are not separate from the cosmos. We are part of the cosmos and we are microcosmic forms of the macrocosm of the grander scale, the grander cosmic scale, that the planets are not doing things to us necessarily. They are reflected within our being, within particular body parts, and learning more about those connections. 
We will also be exploring the planets. So from that medical astrology perspective, super physical, literal, embodied, all the way out to more of a galactic astrology perspective, thinking about what do each of the planets mean in terms of our soul's evolution, in terms of you know, multiple lifetimes in terms of our multidimensional self. So looking really, really expansive, more macrocosmically, but also really microcosmically in our bodies. So this is so, so very fun. So very exciting. We will be looking at student chart examples. So of the students in the class, if you sign up, we will be looking at your chart unless you do not want us to look at your chart in class. So very important in the intake form. If you don't want your chart used, totally okay. And you can just note that in the intake form when you sign up for class that you don't want us to show your chart. And that is totally, totally fine. But most people want to be talked about. <laughs> so... We will be looking at student chart examples for each of the planets and really inviting the astrology to come alive through each of the students and more of a personalized perspective on the planets. So I also, I expanded the class. I've been teaching these astrology and Reiki classes. Well, actually, I started this year in January, two and a half hour class. That was totally not long enough. So I expanded to three hours and I kept several different classes at three hours. And then this last class, I found that really I need to expand again to three and a half hours. And with this expansion of the class, how long it is, I have not increased the price at all. So it's the same price, but you're getting literally an extra half an hour from what I've been teaching and an extra hour from how I originally set out to do these astrology and Reiki classes. So it's really expanded the value quite a lot, but not increased the price point. So definitely be aware of that as well, that Really, I want the class to feel very spacious and like we have time for the beginning invocation and to, you know, really commune and come together as a circle to dive very deeply into the information, have plenty of time for examples, have time for questions as well, and then have a spacious amount of time also for our Reiki invocation journey or experience that is specifically designed to heal and reveal your natal birth chart. And this time focusing on the planets, befriending the planets, and really inviting in that sense of right relationship with each of the planets. There are more malefic planets like Mars and Saturn that have a more negative reputation. Pluto as well. Oh my goodness, scary Pluto. And befriending them, getting to know them yourself and getting to know them within you as well. So it's not this sense of separation and fear and also making cozy with more of the benefic planets as well, Venus and Jupiter, and of course the sun and moon, getting to know those really personal parts of self, sun, moon, Mercury as well, Venus and Mars also being personal planets, experiencing that divine love of Neptune, that awakening too. Uranus is another planet that can kind of be, have more negative associations, but is really, really meant to help wake us up. I've been reflecting on Uranus a lot lately because we have the Mars-Uranus conjunction occurring on July 15th. And like, what is this planet really all about? Like, I'm not satisfied with just surprise, wild card, maverick, expect the unexpected. I feel myself diving deeper into really what is Uranus? Like if we go deeper than just that, you can't know Uranus. Well, I think we can <laughs> and I'm determined to. It's square my nodal axis right now. So I'm like really, really 
focus on that. So what is Uranus? So maybe that'll be my my own personal journey within the context of the class, understanding Uranus. So we will have time for a really beautiful journey. And also another reason I include Reiki in the class is because we all have difficulties in our charts, in our psyches, in our lives, in our soul histories and soul experiences so bringing the healing into that and also bringing in the revealing into those gifts talents strengths natural flows really cool things that each of us has something really cool or multiple really cool features and strengths within our birth chart so really revealing the fullness and Helping the astrology and the birth chart, just like really giving it Reiki, you know, multidimensionally present, past, future, very holographically, and thinking in terms of transits, but also the natal promise and really bringing out the fullness and the authenticity of your natal promise for this lifetime. And Really also like liberating from any kind of like comparison syndrome about like why your life and why you don't look like somebody else or maybe don't fit into the, I think this is I'm channeling your honesty, not fitting into like the mainstream trajectory of like how it's supposed to look or like how it's supposed to go and any of those false judgments and beliefs about yourself and your life and how you live your life and just letting go of all that so more of the authenticity, beauty, and glory of your unique self can really shine through and there need not be any kind of interference, that cultural interference, the programming, the conditioning that's telling you otherwise, or, you know, has been internalized and needs to just be released so you can live your life with more well-being, more acceptance, more fulfillment, more a feeling of wholeness, of integrity and that is really feeling very, very strong and feels like it will be a part of this class and getting to know the planet. So you are very welcome in this class, all levels of Reiki, all levels of astrology. It is the second class in a series. So I will be teaching astrology basics classes. Last class was all about the zodiac signs. This class all about the planets. And then I have plans to teach classes about the elements, the modes, the aspects, looking at transits a little further on, looking at the nodal axis that has so much to do with our soul purpose, our spiritual destiny. So each class will be like a little bit more advanced and build on each other. And you can start this series at any time. You can come for just one class. You can come for all of the classes, really build that strong foundation. You may want to wait until maybe you know, like you don't really understand the aspect. So that might be the class for you. Maybe it's not this one. So definitely stay tuned. I will keep sharing and it'll be Every single month, I'm offering a new class covering astrology basics, some aspect of astrology basics. And this is really preparation because I want to do more classes like some of the ones I did earlier this year, exploring the galactic astrology of certain transits, looking at the stars. And this is really like the setup, the foundation for understanding more about the galactic alignment. So it is more easily understood and integrated and has like this foundation, this strong foundation to then like launch out and reach out into understanding more about the stars and the black holes and then connecting to them and in even more embodied, holistic, empowering way. So I'm really, really excited about this class. If you have questions or comments, you can drop them in the comments below this video. You can also 
email me if you have my email address or if you go to the contact me page on my website, you can also contact me through that. I'm happy to connect. I'm so glad that sharing about astrology has this effect of drawing in more of my soul family and more of the people I really want to connect with. So it's been just like such a beautiful process. I'm continuously humbled by the quality and caliber of individual I get to connect with by sharing in this way. And this is really my, my intention is to be teaching astrology to healers, to intuitives, to Reiki practitioners. I love working with Reiki practitioners. And also I love teaching Reiki to readers and intuitives and healers who want something to help them not drain their own energy as they heal. And I'm just so excited too about the evolution of Reiki and how Reiki can integrate with any modality. And I'm being guided to integrate the Reiki with astrology and astrology with Reiki. And it just feels really good. Like, I love using Reiki in all of my readings because then I don't have to worry about the karmic parts of reading charts. And it's like more than just reading the chart. It's like actually facilitating a healing experience with the astrological interpretation and the astrological guidance. It's having that healing support one other thing I'll mention is that I've taken a lot of different astrology classes as a student, and I'm a great self-studier, so pre-recorded courses I absolutely love. I tend to fly through those because when I want to learn something, I really want to learn something, and so I will spend as much time on something like a pre-recorded class like I'll like binge watch it like <laughs> like somebody would binge watches a tv show I'll like binge consume whatever our pre-recorded classes and so I love the pre-recorded classes I have also taken I remember taking my first like live astrology classes and I was so so excited to do so and <laughs> I found I couldn't stand it actually because there wasn't a very strong container and to many other people in the class it was a plenty strong container did they loved it you know it was just me and what was going on is that I had something to compare it to. I had the comparison of classes that were held really strongly in a Reiki container and how they never felt draining at all. It felt so uplifting and energizing and healing and I just loved it and it became this new standard for taking live classes for me that I really don't enjoy classes that are live that aren't held in a Reiki container. It's just a personal preference. It's not a right or wrong thing, but I'm very sensitive. I'm very empathic. And what I experienced in the live astrology class that was not held in a Reiki container was like great information and everything, but I felt like energy hemorrhage happening from myself. And I really wanted to be there and learn everything I could, but it felt so energetically draining for me that I, I stopped taking those classes, even though it was something I was very interested in. And so I say that because the way I'm teaching these classes is that maybe you are somebody who's very sensitive and empathic, and maybe this style of live class can work for you. And as I said, you can also take it as a recording and also listen to the Reiki journeys again and again. That portion of the class that is the Reiki journey or experience or meditation, that alone is worth the value of the entire class because you don't just get the healing of 
doing it once in class, you can repeat that recording all month long. I do this myself with other Reiki recordings. I will repeat a recording or two. Like right now, I'm re repeating two recordings. I'll do that all month long and fully absorb. And it keeps aggregating and building on itself. So in this class, you can repeat this particular recording all month long if you want or as many times as you want and you will receive additional benefits every single time and it's also not necessary if you just want to listen once that's fine too but if you're like <laughs> hardcore like me you might want to listen many more times and get the absolute most out of it just saying so that's something else I really wanted to share about what's inspired me to combine the astrology and Reiki into the live classes. I really like the format of the live classes. I might do some pre-recorded classes in the future, but right now it's like I really like getting together <laughs> with people and talking about astrology and doing Reiki together. It's really, really enjoyable. So I invite you to be on this journey with me, and I am just so grateful to have you here watching this video. I appreciate you so very much and look forward to connecting more with you soon. Aho, amen, namaste, and so it is. Mahalo.